this is Laura GB and in this video we're going to look at creating an adaptive card that gets posted into a Microsoft team channel to announce the arrival of a new employee a new starter so this video is gonna be a bit long so it's put into six different bits and down in the details below I will put the timings of the different stages so that you can skip around the video to the bits that you're interested in so Let's go with the first part, which is the setup. So here's the team that I'm wanting to post the card to. Okay, so into this channel called News, we will put a card into here. Then there is a, we've got a list, which has basically got a title just as New Starter, so that we could use this list for other things. I've got the employee, um, which is a people column, and I've got a date to filter by. I've also put up a little um, document library uh, that's going to allow us to st store the, in this case, store the profile picture of the person just so that it's easy to refer to. So that's our setup done. Let's go and start creating our flow. So let's go for create. Now I'm going to run this flow daily. Okay, so it's going to be a scheduled flow. Welcome newcomer, and we're gonna repeat during the week. It's no point doing it Saturdays and Sundays because my business works Monday to Friday. And let's go create. So the first the first step we're gonna add is actually gonna be a scope. I use these lots to organize my steps within my flows. And let's rename that scope to be get new starter records for today. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to calculate today's date. So we're going to add an action. And we want today's date in a particular format. So I'm going to use a compose great for doing some little calculations on the fly. So our formula for our compose is going to be, let's press the FX button and we're going to go for a function called format date and time, open bracket and a shift return to put in some, put in some line breaks there. Probably don't need the shift return, I think it's just a return. And anyway, the function we're going to do to get now is going to be UTC now, put in a comma and then underneath there in a string that's single quotes to give us that it gives you a hint because it gives you the close of the quotes and then four y's hyphen now use capital m's here otherwise you get the minutes which doesn't work so well okay so that gives me my date and time click the cross and there we are we get format date and time into there now what we're going to do is we're going to add an action and this is going to be get items. And there we are, the SharePoint version of get items. And we're going to go for a site. I've only got one in the list. And then we're going to go for events. Um, we're going to have, let's have the whole list. Now we're going to go for show advanced options here. Now in advanced options is where we can put in our OData filter. Okay. Now our OData filter needs to do a number of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to put into here. I firstly want the title to equal. Now let's move my cursor out of the way so you can see what I'm typing. Title EQ is equivalent to equals. And then in here, we again, single quotes for putting around strings. So equals new starter. And then to combine conditions, I can use the word and. And then we're going to put in event date. EQ. And then an apostrophe. And then I'm going to put in a control space bar. And we're going to go for the output of that compose. And then another apostrophe. 
okay so there we go that gives me my O data so now we've written our filter query we're going to test it okay so I'm going to click on test perform the trigger action click test run the flow and click done and there we are your flow ran successfully so get new starter records for today and there we go and there you are I can see I've got a record okay lots of fields but that is one record right now time to move on okay so we've done that part now the next part is we want to run through every record we've got there so I'm going to go back to edit and we're going to go to get the profile info and the photo so my next new step is going to be a control one and it's going to be an apply to each so the part that goes into there is I want the result from get items okay then we are going to add an action into there now I'm going to add in a scope inside here and this scope is going to be called get profile details our first action is going to be get more details of the employee who was in the list okay so I am going to add an action and we're going to into here we're going to go for an office 365 action so into here we're going to get get user profile v2 and the UPN or email ID that's the important part it's the email part in there so control space bar to bring up the list and I can search for email okay get items employee email right and then we're going to add another action again from the office 365 and in this one we're going to get the user photo again we can put into here control space bar and we're going to search for email and I want the employee email okay now that photo gets me a photo and it gets me content but it's not in a format that I can use inside my adaptive card so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it somewhere so we're going to add an action and that action is going to be a create file so we're going to create a file in SharePoint and let's go and pick my um, site and my folder path let's click on the little the part there and let's go for going to find it and there was one in here called event files let's go for that one right and uh, the file name well let's name it after the user okay so a control space bar into here and let's put in name and get items let's go for the employee display name okay and the file content control spacebar let's go for image file content from the get user photo ah employee display name the file name nearly got it wrong there always remember to put in a extension onto there okay so I'm gonna click Save so this is the getting the profile um, details and the photo and that should have that should be now ready to test again 
So let's go test. I'll perform the trigger action. Save and test. Run flow. And so there we are. If we go to the apply to each, we've got one, which is great. And they are, it's created a file. So if we go back to our directory here, there you go. There is a file. And if I put that into the tiles view, there we are. We have a little picture of Mike. So let's go back into here. Right. So that is got me through to there. The next step we're going to do is we're going to quickly design an adaptive card to show some of these details. So we go into adaptive cards. Now adaptivecards.io takes you to here and we go into the designer. Now we're going to do a really simple little card here. I'm not going to use the one they've got here because this is a little bit too complicated for what we want. So I'm going to go for a brand new card and I'm going to put in a container and inside that container which is going to be my title okay I'm going to put in a text block now over here you can see the card structure now I'm just going to take out the data structure because I'm not using templating today so those bits can go so I've got a container and a text box so this is my card structure over on the right hand side here I can put in some layout so I am going to go for style and I'm going to go for that one to be emphasis, which makes it gray and have a bit of padding underneath it. I'm going to put in a column set so you can drag that to be underneath. OK, and then in the bottom right hand corner, I can add a column and add another column. So there's two columns. I'm going to go to that column and I don't want them to be equal width. I want them to be weighted and let's make the one on the left too wide and the one on the right one wide, i.e. two thirds and one third. And this one on the left, I'm going to add some text boxes. OK. Let's add four. Let's just take the top one. I just want to show you one thing in here, really. And what we're going to do is I'm going to come down here. There's style. I'm going to I'm ignoring the font type, but my size can become large and the weight can become bolder. I'm also going to do the same to the other text box that's there. We'll make the size um, large. And let's make the color. If you go through these ones, we've got a number of colors we could pick there. So I'm going to go for accent, which makes it a blue color. OK, in this example. So that all works. Now my empty column here. OK, now you can see it's moving around my card structure. It's quite a good card structure to be able to walk around and you can do various things. But this column here, I'm going to put an image inside it. OK, now the JSON, card, the JSON code for this card is being written down here for us. And I'm going to come down into here and just see where that image is. OK, and I'm just going to add an extra property. So you've got to remember, you've got to put a comma at the end of the alt text. And then on the new line, I'm going to put in URL and then a colon. And I'm just going to put and I'm going to put into their URL in capitals. Now, what I'm going to do for each of these blocks is put in the text. So if I pick a block, I can type in. So I'm going to put into there. Please welcome. And in that box there, I'm going to put in name in capital letters. This is just so I can find them later. And I'm just going to put this in as the job. What's he doing? What are they doing? And that part is going to be which team are they joining? And because I've, I've got multiple offices in my company, I'm going to put in a location row as well. OK, so that's all my code done for my adaptive card. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's got some code in it. I've got my JSON code. 
that column looks like it's in the wrong place. It is. There we go. Let's just put it in the right place. And there we go. So all my text boxes are in there. So once you've done that, up on the top bar, there is a copy card JSON. So I'm going to do that next. Then we are going to go back into my flow and edit it. So that was get my profile details. Now we're going to add an action and I hope you recognize that I'm going to add another scope. And let's rename that scope for post adaptive card. So now you could just do the calculation of this next part all inside the post adaptive card. But my experience is actually doing it via a compose step means you can actually see what the code looks like. And into that compose step, I click where it says inputs and then control V and it pastes the whole of that adaptive card. Isn't that horrific? So we're going to look down here. Now, this is why I put in text. OK, so I'm going to show you the next one and then I'll speed up the rest of it because it's a bit boring. So I've got a name here. OK, and I'm going to take out that name. I'm going to press control space bar. And I'm going to put in. Oh, my goodness, it's gone. See, this is why I don't like this. There you are, it's back again. There you are, I've got it back again. Control space bar. And we're going to go for, so I want the um, display name. So get user profile, their display name. Okay, and it will jump you around. Make sure it's put it in the right place. Make sure you've kept both the quotes. So I'm just going to do the job team and location. So I've added so I've added those in. Right, one quick step that you might not have noticed I was doing was between each one I did, I was clicking save. Um Nanigan has an issue with doing some editing like that, and saving seems to reset it. The last part to do is the alt text and the URL. So the alt text, well let's put into there the display name of the person. And then let's go into the URL. Now, the URL needs to be starting with that part of the URL. OK, so actually the site URL, ignoring the library, etc. So let's go into there and let's put that into there. OK, and then on to the end of that, we're going to put in control spacebar and I'm going to search for path and it's the path of the create file which will just finish that off okay so that should all be correct let's save that part okay so now we've created the code let's add the action to post this one so I'm going to search for adaptive card, OK, and post your own adaptive card as the flow bot to a channel. Let's click into there. And then we pick our team. Now, due to um, the demo gods not loving me today, we've had to uh, delete the news channel because I posted lots of broken adaptive cards. And I'm going to put it in team news, which is my new channel. And my message into there is going to be control spacebar is going to be the output from that card. OK, and let's click save. And let's click test. And let's run.
And there we go. My flow ran successfully. My, my Obviously, my offerings to the demo gods worked. So we've got green ticks all round. And if we go and have a look in our channel, there we are. There is a message to welcome Mike Murray with some details about where his job and where he's going to be working and a photo of him. OK, so this was posting a adaptive card that welcomes a new member using lots of different things from OData filters to getting user profile info, designing an adaptive card and using it. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.